This video covers inline fittings through the piping component editor form within Aviva E3D 2.1. At pipe 150-A-57 and pump P1502B to the 3D view. Indicate the dotted line in the 3D view to make the branch the current element. Click the Create Create Component button to open the Piping Component Editor form. Add a 300 weld neck flange, S-type WNA and gasket at the tail. Click the Reducer button from the Standard Components section of the form. Set the configuration to Arrive Minor, Leave Major, the Leave Bore to 150mm and the S-Type filter to Conk. Select the Reducer from the list and with Against Flow selected, click the Connect button. Click the Valve button from the Standard Components section of the form. With the default S-type of Gate and Against Flow selected, click the Connect button. An expected error message is displayed relating to the connection type. Click the OK button. With the flanges at the leave of the valve as the current element, select the S-type of WN from the Available Alternatives section of the form. Click the Done button. Select the Modify tab and Backwards mode. Click the Connect to Previous button, followed by the Yes button on the Confirm form. Indicate the valve in the 3D view. Click the Rotate Component and Forwards Mode buttons. Select the 90 degree angle on the Rotation tool. Rename the valve to V129. Use the component sequence list to navigate to the branch level. Click the elbow button. With the S-type of EL90 and with flow selected, click the Connect button. Select the Modify tab and click the D-axis on the Direction tool. Add Pump P1502A to the 3D view. From the Design Aids tab, click the Construction Aids Line button. Indicate the two pumps in the 3D view to create a construction line between the origins of the elements. Use the Escape key to exit the function. Select the Piping tab. Navigate to Elbow 1 and from the Modify tab click the Cursor Pick button. From the Position Control form, select Graphics and Midpoint. Indicate the construction line in the 3D view. The use of the construction line will have positioned the elbow midway between the two pumps. Click the T button. Set the configuration to Arrive by Connection, the S-Type filter to T and the connection bore to 150mm.
Select the reducer from the list and with With Flow selected, click the Connect button. The height of the T is determined by the pipe rack. Select the Modify tab and Advanced Mode button to open the form. Add Gensec2 belonging to framework slash row J, which is owned by structure slash pipe rack to the 3D view. On the move form, select the clearance tab. With the clearance set to 0mm, enter a direction of D in the parameters section. With relative 2 set to in front, check the plane through target checkbox in the target section. In the plane text box, enter Z and click the Pick Target Element button. Indicate the Gensec in the 3D view to update the name text box and click the Apply button. The T will be offset by 50mm to allow for the insulation of the branch. The move form can be closed. Click the elbow button. With the S type set to EL90 and with flow selected, click the connect button. Select the Modify tab and click the Next Component button. Click the S axis on the Direction tool. Click the Copy Component button followed by the Next Component button. Click the D axis on the Direction tool. Perform a save work.